Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In this video, I would like to show you five things that you can do and check to get your garbage disposal working again if it's not working at all or if it just sits there and hums at you and does not spin. Let's just jump right in and start with number one. The very first thing you should check is if there's anything jammed inside of the garbage disposal because that happens to be the beginning of all troubles. The best way to do so is to turn off the power to the garbage disposal by unplugging it under the sink. Next, you will need a flashlight and something like a screwdriver that you can reach in there with. With the power off, you could reach in there with your hand, but I prefer not to do that because it's all slimy in there. I like to just go in there with a screwdriver. And what you're looking for is the impellers or the blades that crush and grind the food. Basically what you're trying to do is see if those blades are spinning freely. So for example, I got a blade right there. That should spin pretty freely. And if we look at the other side, see that little white thing that's jammed in between the impeller and the bottom of the garbage disposal? I'm gonna have to get that out before we continue. Well, that took a little bit of effort and as much as I don't like to do so, I'm gonna have to stick my hand in here to try to fish that little piece out so it doesn't get jammed again. There it is. It's a piece of plastic and I have no idea what it's from. I'm pretty sure my four-year-old son had something to do with it, but let's not point fingers, right? I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it can be very annoying to get whatever is jammed in there out. So just do your best, use whatever you can to try to dislodge whatever's stuck in there and get it out. Let's move on to number two. Most garbage disposals are gonna have a little reset switch or a breaker that will trip if the garbage disposal is overloaded or if something is jammed in there and you continue to run it. And luckily, that reset button is very easy to check and reset. It is typically found on the bottom of the garbage disposal. It's this little red button over here. All you need to do is just press it. And typically, if it is tripped, you're gonna hear a click. But either way, that's an easy thing to check and try. Maybe that will get your disposal working. Number three is to check for a tripped GFI outlet as that could be interrupting the power going to the garbage disposal. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. Most people will think that the outlet should be somewhere around the garbage disposal, but that is not always the case. It could be across the room in the kitchen, or it can even be in the living room. In fact, quick story time. When we were living in a rental unit about a year back, half of our kitchen stopped working. The lights in half of the kitchen and half of the appliances, just power went out. I checked all the outlets, you know, all the little reset buttons everywhere. I checked the breakers, all the breakers, nothing's tripped, everything is good. For the longest time, I could not figure out what's wrong, and it turns out that the GFI outlet that was outside was tripped, and that was wired up to half of the kitchen. So when you're looking for a GFI outlet that may be tripped, I recommend just looking everywhere. And if you get lucky, maybe your only problem is that tripped GFI switch. Press the red button to reset it and you should be good to go. Number four, most new garbage disposals are gonna come with a little wrench that you can use to manually spin the garbage disposal so that if there's anything stuck or jammed in there, you could try to dislodge it by spinning it with that wrench. If you're like me and you have no idea where that wrench is, you're not alone. All you would need in that case is just an Allen wrench set. And for most disposals, the size that you're gonna need is quarter inch. And if we go back to the bottom of our garbage disposal, the hole where you would stick this in is right on the bottom of the disposal. So let's put my Allen wrench in and I should be able to spin it freely both ways. If there's something stuck in there, of course, this is gonna be hard to spin. So you could try to just go back and forth, back and forth to try to free up those impeller blades. Mine is spinning nice and free, so that's good. This Allen wrench method may be especially helpful if you have something small jammed in there and you're having a really hard time trying to get it out with a screwdriver or something else. Now, this may be the time where I need to deliver some bad news to some of you. If you're able to freely spin the garbage disposal manually with the wrench, yet when you go to turn it on, instead of hearing this nice spinning sound, all you're getting is a hum that means that most likely your garbage disposal is toast and you're gonna have to get a new one. But before you go ahead and get a new one, there is one last resort and that is tip number five. This is the trusty old method of if it doesn't work, whack it with a hammer. 
And I know that sounds funny, but you'd be surprised. I've gotten a dryer to work before, more than once, by smacking it. A furnace, an air conditioner, where the motor is not working, you hit it really hard and it just starts working. So it's definitely worth a shot, and I'm sure many of you in the comments can testify that the smacking method has worked for you. In fact, if it has, please let us know in the comments below. To do this method, we will once again need to go under the sink. You're going to take a hammer, or a mallet, or something else, and just start tapping on the sides of your garbage disposal. If you're planning on throwing it away anyway, you could probably go a little harder. If you're not sure, then I highly recommend tapping, not smacking, just firmly tapping all around it. If you're ready to throw it away, then you could probably put a little more strength in it. But obviously you're not trying to break it, you're trying to just free it up. I like to use a nut driver or something nut sharp to also go from the top and just tap it from the top as well. If this method worked for you, congratulations. If it didn't, my condolences. Well guys, and that is all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful. And if there's any other tips that I missed, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. And I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, a fireman just had twin boys. What did he name his two kids? Jose and Hose B. And if you didn't like that joke, don't worry, I have a puzzle just for you. Which direction is this school bus going? For reference purposes, this school bus is driving in the United States. If you think you know which way it's going and you can explain why, please let us know in the comments below.